Prashana Swani here, demoing the Bogner Burnley Distortion Pedal. Reinhold Bogner and Rupert Neve collaborated to make a series of pedals. In this pedal, uh, the Burnley, um, it, it's utilizing a Rupert Neve transformer. I happen to be sitting in front of a vintage EMI Neve console. The incredible design of Reinhold Bogner uh, and the utilization of a Neve transformer allows this pedal to really have full range um, and a lot of headroom. Uh, all your lows, highs, and mids really, really come through naturally, almost like just plugging into a head. For the track I demoed, I utilized this, uh, the Burnley for both the rhythm tone as well as the lead tone. And I kept it in one setting for both. Here is the, the sound that I used uh, with the pedal disengaged. <laughs> As you guys can hear, it's relatively clean, slightly dirty, a uh, little bit of breakup. With the pedal engaged to the setting, uh, to my preferred setting, here's the same progression. So as you hear, uh, all the notes come through on those open chords. It It's very, very amp-like, um, which is, something that I really, really like about this pedal. In fact, I took this pedal with me uh, on some clinics in India where um, I plugged into uh, random amps uh, with, their, with the setting on the amps as a clean setting. And um, this pedal basically gave me all my tone, uh, you know, utilizing this in a delay. And that was pretty much it for, the, uh, for the, all those performances. The tone function on the pedal allows me to dial in the exact amount of bass or highs that I want um, for, a, for a combination with any clean amp. I'm gonna demonstrate the tone now uh, from the setting that I like, which is just above one o'clock, to zero, so you can see how dark the pedal can go. As you hear, it doesn't get muddy, and it's fully usable in the complete uh, left s setting, you know, where it's at, at its darkest. Um, now I'm going to do the exact opposite and crank it all the way to the, um, to the fullest capacity so you get the most highs out of the pedal. <laughs> So it doesn't get too harsh, but it adds a lot of nice overtones, um, a lot of nice overtones and harmonics. Here's the um, 
Here is the pedal back into the position where I like it, which is at one o'clock. <laughs> As you can hear, there are a lot of overtones and harmonics that come through um, that naturally with, uh, with the pedal. So there's another feature in this pedal that's unique to it. Uh, it's got a switch in there, um, and the F is for a fat sound, which adds uh, natural kind of low mids that um, Reinhold Bogner is really known for in his amps, and a tight sound, which gives you more of a focused tone. Um, I have it set in the tight sound because I, you know, I'm plugging into a Bogner head, so I've, I've got kind of the, the EQ and frequency of tone that I want prior to uh, kicking in the distortion. So I keep it in the tight sound because I like that focused uh, tone, and I kept it in the tight sound for both the rhythm as well as the um, lead um, tones on the track that you heard. So I'm going to play an example now for you in the tight mode. So as you guys can hear, it's not super gainy and super distorted, um, but I double my tracks and I, I prefer that kind of a tone. Here is the same example uh, in the fat mode setting. So there's a clear difference in terms of low mids and really it's it's about like what the amp like the core amp tone that you have set in in whether or not you're going to use it in the fat mode or the tight mode. So if you're looking for a real versatile amp like distortion pedal, I recommend going to check out the Bogner Burnley.